thank you for coming this morning. I very much appreciate you taking time out of your schedules to uh, spend a few minutes with me. By law, the proponents of this recall are free to assert anything they wish as their arguments for the recall. And it must be printed on the official ballot. Now, their assertions are easy enough to challenge. They don't pass the credibility test. For example, the Denver Post has already reported the charge that our superintendent is making 80,000 more than his predecessor is patently false. Charges that we haven't been transparent don't stand up to the facts. Facts like how we put all our board meetings, along with our fin financial transactions, online. However, there is one charge that concerns me greatly. According to the language they placed on the official ballot, we reform board members have violated open meetings laws. They assert we've broken the law. Now, I fully understand that the recallers are free to say anything, and I do mean anything, on the ballot, whether it's truth, fiction, or complete fantasy. That's their legal right. And while some might say lying directly on a ballot would be disrespectful, I can't believe they'd put down an accusation without standing behind it completely. I agree with the recallers that breaking state law, especially one to ensure transparent government like our sunshine law, is unacceptable and simply must never be tolerated. And it is here where I am befuddled by the recallers. This recall election will cost the district between $100,000 to $200,000. And that's my granddaughter we'll see in a moment. That's money that won't go to our classrooms and to our students. They've spent well over $100,000 gathering tens of thousands of signatures. But I can't help but ask a simple question. If we have broken the law, why hasn't there been even one legal complaint filed against us for this lawless behavior? Out of the thousands who signed their petition, not one is brave enough to sign a complaint. Out of the hundreds of thousands of dollars they've spent they couldn't spend 49 cents on a postage stamp to send a complaint. And they accuse us of wasting money. This is a serious charge of unlawful behavior, and it's now going to be printed on an official election ballot. But for this accusation to be taken seriously, a complaint should have been filed. Since those who built an entire expensive election around this baseless accusation having the courage of their convictions enough to file any complaint against us, I am here today to announce a complaint has been filed. This morning I, as a resident of Jefferson County, I'm filing a request for an advisory opinion with the Colorado Ethics Commission against, well, myself, for violation of the Colorado Open Meetings Law. I've asked the Commission to investigate this charge and give me an opinion if the law has been violated. Yes. This is ridiculous. An elected official filing an ethics complaint against himself? But sadly, this empty, ridiculous accusation requires an equally ridiculous action to shed light on the truth. Let me reiterate, I am not seeking to be exonerated because there's simply nothing to be exonerated from. I'm just calling their blood. The opponents of reform have preferred allegations because the truth doesn't fit their narrative. Maybe the press should ask them why for almost two years they have made these charges but haven't filed a complaint. If you'll give me a moment, I'll uh, place my 49 cent stamp on my Ethics Commission request for an investigation. I want to underscore this is my own stamp. I'm going to put two on it because it's big and we want to make sure that it gets there today. 